What is going on guys, it's your boy like back with another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And today, we're just going to see uh, what Dawn needs help with Mai. Because uh, obviously she said that she couldn't do it alone. And you mean like, I'm the best. So, you already know, gotta get it going. The last episode, we kind of just went around, figured out everything, caught a bunch of Pokemon. I mean, my Pokedex is kind of filling up, so that's definitely good. I definitely caught has to be everything that's in this area so i think we're gonna go to the other area catch something else that's over there and uh yeah we're gonna figure it out so uh let's get to it over here this is shona my my a new face in the village not that it matters to me if you're new if you're new here i see me prepared to help got the drip though i can't lie look at the way I mean, we're in the old times. We got Ursa Ring and uh, uh, what? It's got designs like this. That's dope. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to his Sui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel comfortable that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? That's good to hear. The security corps, of course, certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles on my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you. Watch and learn. We're just battling, because why not? Give me more XP, I guess. Oh, it is a very close level. It's definitely bulky, but I did burn it. That's what it oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. This is a G for that. Super effective. That just... I don't know. Well, that was good, though. Thank you for that. Look at the level ups. Anyone learn any new, new moves? Nope. Really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons you could defeat my part. We'll fault much back. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And Jody over here. Bye. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things crafted, don't you? These should prove to be useful. I don't know how I feel about this you people thing, but. Vivid Choke? You and your Pokemon fought well together. You particularly acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of the old. The one we all, we tell stories to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble up Deer Tree Height. It is large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Wow. Our phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've gone to, where you've got to go, isn't it? I need to bat a little bit more. I'm not ready for it. My mind, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to their deer, deer track height up ahead of us. I'll leave this for you. I'll leave this in your hand. You'll do great out there, I know. It seems you're quite the asset to the survey corps, new one. So, before we continue, I must ask. Do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? My, my, how about that? Well, I'm not certain you've been told the true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. 
He said to have created the very universe using his power over the time flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away with the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any humans. If the old tales are to be trusted, but there are still Pokemon here today and it's a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of the wardens like myself to attend to their needs. Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from Pokemon that blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. So even your professor decided to join us. And we followed me. Look at this guy. This guy ran his ass all the way here. You thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Now, could I? I suppose it's your business to find as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Tree Cut. Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to special Pokemon. Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessings blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Oh, it's a cricket. Oh, I could do this. I think I could. That's the only troublemaker here. Serve the peace, all the track. That's where you're here, Jonah. To drive that looper from this place. I'm sure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. I needed that. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong. May know moves that others of their kind do not. And not to be trifled with let me tell you, nevertheless, I believe you are strong. Still, this is an alpha, so you go show that beyond it. Any mistake. Be careful, Sean. Because size is a potential weapon, and and for and be careful, Sean. Like size is an is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt, this alpha is a powerful and hurdy. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves. With their You hear that battle cry? In the show, I pray for you, buddy. How much? Oh, this. Oh, they they lowered it down. Not even like that. And it used aerial ace. I don't even have a revive. Wait, like, what the heck, dude? Okay, let's let let's think here. Barley is a bird Pokemon. I barely. Oh my God! All I need to do is like, connect this one. And it's good. Yep, GG's. Beauty, beauty, good job. Thank God. Good level up. One they can all evolve finally, so I get to fill up my Pokédex another two entries. You really are impressive, one, aren't you? Seeing some best, seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it really reminds me of the legendary hero of the old. We'd best make sure your Pokémon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. All right, so that wasn't hard. That was like a what? Oh. Saw's break Saw's break. Pretty here. I don't remember being pretty. Is that what it's called? Am I tripping? It looks upon you with kindness. Say the great hired deer taking a liking to you. This is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the 
bands of Hu Hisui while bearing a human on its back. Human he deems worthy of. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. The Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. I will really bring it in all the regions now. Professor Leviton. Hell not. Captain Silen Sen. He said that once shall not carry out this request, you'd be able to set up a base. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adama and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The history region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The great wide deer has taken a liking to Jonak as well. This is a good sign. I have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear about how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. <laughs> We're looking pretty good right now. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That's what would come leaving the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corpse I'm So we're just building it like right now. All right. Now we get around. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out for the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursion directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will help will be great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the wall for any old chum? The usual potato moochie, please. I'll make it for three today as well. We all heard the grave news. The frenzy cleaver from the rumors that ended up mauling some of our Mauling? Mauling, Pokemon. You know what that means, right? Wow. The guys, folks, who went out to investigate this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back to their feet. Uh, this is the cleaver that was repeatedly struck by the powerful lightning. I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, at further investigation, this is ordered. The survey camp... Survey course will of course step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Shellnock here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver's so mighty even Alpha Pokemon know compared to him. So now you forgot the strength of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this Perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique. I do believe I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Luke, who's being punctual? Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to the sham. There you go again, insisting. Insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of all time. If people follow the rule, Almighty Sinnoh, the front of all creation, ruler of space. Ha. You could. Ha. You could have had all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me. You're really suggesting that you make a you make better use of all your time than we make of vast Hisui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up one time. Almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless vast space you're so fond of never showing up. Me? Get lost? In Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan? In all our worlds very biased. You wish. 
I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty oh, Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. Commander Kamado, Commander Kamado. That's got to be a tongue twister. I believe it was you who started this. Commander Kamado, Commander Kamado, Commander Kamado, Commander Kamado. Right. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman was... The woman with the reference of space is... Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan, and the man who's going on and on about time, Adama, leads the Diamond Clan. Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We shall save this conversation for you. Or after you report to him. What do you intend to do about the cleaver, Commander Commando? He may be descended from the from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's caused. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get You do get right to the point, Adama. Time wasted is lost. Well tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? What's the point? My clan can't intervene directly when we're a lord of Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just as we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? It seems someone's got to do something around here. Well then, who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own? Honored noble? I don't believe I said that. I thought it. Maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, you don't even know who... know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is a, this is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you're arrived. This is Shona, the newest member of the survey corps. Ah, I hear from my Uvern Wydeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm a dam, leader of the Diamond Clan. You want to be formal? But that's a mouthful. Just call me a dam. If you came from beyond the space time rift, you could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I am Arita, leader of the Pro Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchword, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to send Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to sudden to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Says leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Hisui's vast without fear. Well then, there you have it. How if how new you were doesn't matter, then let's have the kid have a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are, with all you weird ways putting Pokemon with strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Mighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control a Pokemon, only so that we can live together and allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Shona. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of his situation. <sighs> Remember, you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Alright, got another mission. That's settled. There's no time like the present. The Lord of Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that is blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've ever encountered has compared to this strength. Be warned. 
Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us Interlude. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? Join me downstairs, shall not. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Ah, oh, good. You're already here. Reverse Lavatar. The briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Shona, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh, invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of the battle once they're released. He lied. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Very well, then let us go to the particulars. Diamond and Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research would be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for Cleaver. Jonah, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects with this world to a whole other world. That would that world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must you must have been just swimming in a div it's divine, right? Well, I've been a favorite ass here. Oh, amazing time travel. Don't just study Cleaver. Well, his friends. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We must be discussing our next steps with regards to this whole Cleaver situation. Aho! You must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those pro clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure you'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the galaxy team, all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off the mountains has flown into some type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the pro clan, but still. We've got to share Hisui and means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up such powerful Pokemon. Be the best hope we've got. We find Cleaver at Grand Tree area. That's in a very heart of the heartwood. This wooden this his warden is a name His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, also but also a bit well, sometimes brilliance can be blinded, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so I'll, we'll be counting on you. See you later. He straight left quickly. Once he'd finished talking, I suppose he really values the time. Adama and Mai weren't strong, you know. If you're to study, perhaps even quell. Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new high ch champ would be hardy place for selling out towards Grand Tree area. And you shall stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Alrighty guys, that was a lot. So we need to go fight the above alpha Pokemon, the Cleaver. I think someone mentioned another one. So we've got a lot on our hands. We definitely need to figure out the team a little bit more. Need the bulk up on the training. Got some side missions to do, but we're gonna get this main story coming at you guys soon. So if you like what I do, you already know it's like, comment, share, subscribe for more. And as always, if you leave the door open, I'm gonna come through. And I'll see you guys next.